Say live. <coughs> Say two. <coughs> Say three. <coughs> That's my dog. Yow! What's cracking, y'all? Good freaking morning. So, we ended the vlog last night right here. We went to bed. Uh, bro Law. Bro Law slept on the freaking couch right where in laws staying right now. And uh, I stayed, I slept on the couch too. We fell asleep watching hunting shows. Uh, I woke up at 4 a.m. We went to bed around 9 last night. I woke up at 4 a.m. These guys, I let them sleep until 8. Made them breakfast, and now we're making bitches. So we got to film an outlaw video today. But first things first, before I film the outlaw video here, in front of the camo wall and the camo chair, I want to finish opening up this fan mail that y'all sent. Last night we opened uh, this cool son bitch from Ben. So we're going to hang that up probably up here uh, on this wall here. But we're going to finish... Opening up this crap here. This is a uh, regular mail. Look, we got a couple packages here that we shall open. So, first one here, Dakota Morris from oh Cynthia, Kentucky. Only about half an hour away. Well, some bitch, Cynthia, Narca. Let's open this some bitch from Dakota. Let's see, what we got this yellow package. We got a letter, of course, and. Dude. No way. No freaking way. Are you kidding me? Dakota? You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. If y'all don't know the backstory, this is a Copenhagen snuff belt buckle. Now I had the silver one of this. So in-law and I were in Florida filming a music video with Bottleneck and after the shoot, I was so damn hot that I went to a gas station to change clothes into shorts. And I ended up leaving my freaking belt and belt buckle in there. And this some bitch sent me one. Oh my gosh, Dakota! I gotta see what this dude says here. Hey outlaw, I know you lost your belt, and I have, and I happen to have the same buckle. So I thought I'd send it to you. It has a red marker on it from my cousin acting like a silly bitch. I hope you like it. I've been watching for about two years. We should go fishing sometime. I live in Harrison County. Oh my goodness! I don't even see your red mark, bro. That is freaking awesome, Dakota. Wow, dude. I love it. All right, moving along. Next one here. That uh, doesn't say a name on it, uh, but it says from Marietta, Georgia. Looks like there's some dip pans or something in here. I'm going to check this some bitch out from Georgia. No way. Oh man, old skull can. I have one of these with the freaking red bottom and a gosh dang freaking old Copenhagen pouches can. Look at that. From 2005. That's pretty cool right there, man. Old Copenhagen pouches can. I don't know who sent this to me, but they're from Marietta, Georgia. So that's gosh dang sick as tits, son. I always like the old dip memorabilia. Y'all know me. Oh, there's a letter in here too. Good thing I saw that. See if they got a name on here. Daniel Tallman, and I just wanted to send you my grandfather's old Copenhagen and skull cans. Hope you like them. I appreciate it, freaking Daniel. That's sick as tits, dude. The next one here. Watch <coughs> your song call you, Bobby. <laughs> Not a name on this son bitch either, but from Buffalo, Illinois. They're ill over there in Illinois. I know they is. Let's get open this box here. Oh, a gosh dang can of Gold River. You ever heard of this in-law? No. Gold River, bro. It's good. It's delicious. It tastes like chew, but in dip style. Good old freaking Gold River. I love me some gosh dang Gold River. See, this dude's name is, ooh, he's a firefighter. Michael Wolford. Dear outlaw and in-law. Oh, oh. this is me. I found this, and now you got now y'all gotta say bro law too, because bro law's here working for all outlaws, old brother. I found this chew named Gold River. It's like the beech nut in a can. Didn't know if you ever had it, so I'm sending you a can. If it's not that bad, you can dip it or chew it. If you haven't had it, you should do it in video on it. I found it in smoke shop in Springfield, Illinois, but it does it in my t but it isn't in my town of Buffalo, Illinois. I hope you like it. If you want more, just let me know. Signed, firefighter Michael Wolford. P.S. Been watching your videos for five years. <laughs> I thought 
Thanks, boy. Michael Wolfer. I appreciate being a firefighter, man. Thank you for your freaking service of being a gosh dang firefighter. I have done a couple bitches on Gold River, but what the tits is one more. All right, next from Austin Anderson. All the way from, oh, I can't, I, Andalasia, Alabama. Please, open on camera. Please do shout out. All right. All right, Austin. You can do a shout out. Here's a shout out to you, Austin. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, gosh dang, another can. Timberwolf Peach! New flavor. I've had this. I've had this before. This looks like an old can. Like, uh, what do you call it? Come by, ooh. You can smell that, bro. Smell that. Gosh dang. You smell it. Smells so good, I might dip it. Now I got a freaking yellow piece of paper from Austin. Hey, Outlaw, it's Cade in Austin. Yellow, we are sending you a can of Timberwolf Peach. It's pretty old, but please shout us out. My channel, Austin Anderson. Cade's channel, Cade Hudson. Notice what color the paper is? Yellow. We are from Alabama. Roll Tide. How you liking whacking the whacking Obama doll? Send us same thing back, please. Well, I don't know what that means, but cold beans. Thanks, Austin and Cade. Appreciate it, y'all. So the bitches. Recording. This one's from Hunter and from North Krakalaka, and uh, he says, "Yeah, I'll keep a freaking hibble at twenty-five eight three sixty-six. Live with real." My name is Hunter Walder, and I am from Salisbury, North Carolina. I'm a diehard mother trucker and thriller. Tell Jacob I said he's a bot. Oh, God. I mean, I don't mean to be a bully. Oh, with a sad face. Thanks, man. Still no Copenhagen Mint here. You should send me some, huh? But anyways, thank you for being an awesome son of a dick and being my role model. I've got to take a massive shit the size of a football. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully you see this on camera and read it. Thanks for all you do. Live a thrill, bitch. Holler. <laughs> awesome. That's funny, Hunter. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. And he sent... Well, he sent another letter, too. Oh, P.S. I want you or in-law to keep this Albert Einstein wallet I had and never used because my dad called me a fag. <laughs> <laughs> in-law and outlaw. You should let JB out of the dryer. He's been in there since the Grizzly commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, we both slapped our knees at the same time. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. He sent me an Albert Einstein wallet. Oh, that's pretty hilarious, bro. Well, I'm sure one of us will use it. You like Albert Einstein, bro? E equals MC squared? Well, if we can put some money in here? That's funny, man. Makes you smarter. Oh! Freaking Chance Bauer from Greeley, Colorado, bro. Mm. Colorado bros. There isn't any tape here, this guy. Very funny. Very freaking funny, because I had that one guy that said, there is tape here. I don't know if yeah. Alright, see this guy sent over. Oh, a little, little painting. A little freaking, little freaking draw. A little, little crayon action there. Oh, he wrote, who the tits writes a cursive anymore? Except my grandma. Dear Outlaw and In-Law, my name is R Radar. I think it says Radar. My name's Radar. What's up, <laughs> Radar? I'm from Windsor, Colorado. Like you as a kid, I watched the Dukes of Hazzard. Still do. Still love it. I'm sitting here watching your videos. Oh, by the way, I'm writing this slow because I know you can't read fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, use my own damn joke. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. I made this when I was I made this when I was five, watching the Dukes of Hazzard and thought you should have it. You're doing great, Mother Truckers. I love I love the sickest dicks. I mean, it's much it's merch. I love the sickest dicks. I mean, tits merch you have. Thanks for the free outlaw license plate. Say yellow to banjo for me. Yellow banjo. These these plumb more out. Love you guys. Love you guys, John, Rosie, and all the others. Keep it freaking hillbilly from Colorado. Radar. I hope his name is Radar and it's not like, I don't know, Radcliffe or something. <laughs> Cameron from Kentucky sent a letter. Hey y'all, well, my name is Cameron Hensley. I'm a big fan. I tried to send another letter, but that was my fucking postal places deal. Hope, hop, this gates to you. P.S. My, my tally dip is Stoker's Wintergreen. What do you think about it? 
about it. I think this kid's still in uh, preschool, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cameron! From Kentucky. No, they're probably not in preschool just because he lives in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one's from... Matthew from... San Antonio, Texas. Oh, he even typed the son of a bitch. Classy fella. Hey, Outlaw, my name is Matt and I'm from Texas. Also, a subscriber on both your channels. I love your vidgets. They are awesome. I hand drew this picture for you. I hope you like it. And I hope you can do a meetup in San Antonio, Texas sometime. P.S. Like at the Bass Pro. But anyways, keep up the mother truck. Good work. Signed, Matthew R. Live to thrill. Yellow! So you put the mother trucker in there, there too. Yeah. Pretty freaking sick tits right there, bro. Nice tag, thanks, Matthew. You the man. Looks like that's all we got for today for the gosh dang mail. P.O. box is below if y'all want to send anything. I really like when y'all send me stuff you made, like this wood piece and crap like that, and pictures or whatever. I always try to hang stuff up that y'all send or whatever, so it's pretty cool, man. Thank y'all. P.O. box below. All right. I'm having the bros edit. Bro laws learn how to edit here, in laws teaching them. They're up the outlaw vision now. We filmed that. Uh, Freaking got the vlog from yesterday done. That's a long one. Make sure y'all check that one out if you ain't yet. Of our long trip here to Antarctica. I am going to go uh, meet up with Jim Bob right now. Uh, we're going to start sighting in my bow while they finish up editing. And then uh, we'll see if we can uh, do his muzzle loader later as well. And Maybe blow some crap up. Who freaking knows what the tits will get into? Let's go. All right, we're making our target here. We're using the box that Ben Meyer sent that sign in. We're gonna make a target here. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gonna. Uh... We got them up there. We ranging and uh, got the target down here and set up in this old creek bed. Bro Law's getting the boards, and then uh, we should be good to do this son of a bitch in. Alright, there's our target. So, should be good to go. Let's see how that works out. Does it have a zoom on this thing or no? All right, Jim, tell them what you got here. Well, it's an Acura V2. V2. 50 caliber. Hope I got first time back. shooting it? First time. Very first time. Very first. And new even, scope, new everything. Yep. I hope it's kind of close to being sighted in. Mm -hmm. The boys got your earplugs in. This coming is gonna be loud. Don't worry, guys. I'll be your earplugs. <laughs> Come in when you're set and ready. Alrighty. Okay. Can you see? No. I kind of figured. I'll have to move up and, uh, move up to 50. Yeah. Well, I found the hole. There she blows. So she's way low. Hey, Jamie, you stay down here and hide behind this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the Venture has it, but, uh, this barrel, the first about half inch has got a relief in it, so you don't have to use a, a bullet seater. See how it already seats itself? Right. Sweet. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, and then uh, it's hardly any effort to push this down. Right. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. A lot easier than the old schools. Oh yeah. Oh, you could definitely see better through this scope than that damn those damn binoculars. Yeah. You got a kick to it? Not as much as a 30 out 6 or your 30 30. Okay. Be sure you have it snug on your shoulder. Yeah. Fire in the hoe. Bottom right. 
bunch with the rest of them. Yep. All right, this is our old salt lick spot. Put a new salt lick in here. Look at this big old freaking hoof mark right there. Big old track. I think it might be the legend of Caddy Wampus. Turkey. We found feathers around here all, all the time last year, beginning of season. Well, this is loaded with tracks. Another feather. Here's a deer track. And there are more tracks over there. That's why we decided to put that camera up over there. Did you switch that? No. Nope. Gosh dang it, this camera zooms too slow. Found a cow head out there after mowing. Don't drop it. <laughs> this is what Outlaw does in his spare time. Talks to talks to cows. No, I just told him that's what you do in your spare time. Huh? I just said that's what you do in your spare time. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. No. No? Dead look, on. Yeah, it looks, almost, it looks inside the black ring. Alright. We're going through trail camera videos. And uh, we just had a pretty amazing discovery right here. Check this out. So we got a nice little buck air, right? Not very little. He's he's pretty gosh dang decent. He's taking a look at you. Oh, he's going away. But wait, there's more. What in the world? Bam, son. Oh, we think that's gosh dang Caddy Wampus. Holy, look how tall his right side is. All right, we home. We ate some dinner over there, Jim Bob's. This scene. Checked all the cameras. Seen some cool deer footage, Caddy Wampus. Bro, Law and I are gonna. Watch some YouTube bitches and uh, in laws being a lazy ass, not doing his job, so I'm doing it for him. And I reckon, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jules. I'm like tired as tits. Whipping like a lasso. Yeah, that's it. We got a lot of footage today, though, didn't we? Yeah. I reckon. Do you reckon? I reckon. You better reckon. You better reconcile what I have to say. Because you don't reckon. <clears throat> Anyways, yo, lovely sons of bitches. My name is Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. And until tomorrow, I always remember no matter what you're doing, live to.